a jade dart that can kill an immortal. Long has she practiced. This is Yifei Liu, an actress who's been working for years in Chinese action and fantasy films, which has certainly prepared her for the title role in Disney's live-action adaptation of Mulan. Yet here I stand, proof that there is a place for people like us. Yifei got her start at a young age, getting work as a model at the age of 10, in addition to singing, dancing, and playing the piano. Then, after getting accepted to the Beijing Film Academy at the age of 15, she started to gain a following as an actress on Chinese television, specializing in wuxia, the romanticized, gravity-defying martial arts subgenre popularized internationally by Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. One popular character that Yifei played was Wang Yuyan, a young girl who knows a lot about martial arts in demi gods and semi-devils. Around this time, her fans and the media gave her a nickname, Fairy Sister, implying that she has kind of an ethereal quality to her. Eventually, Yifei moved beyond just talking about martial arts. She got the opportunity to kick some ass herself, whether she was raining terror with lightning in Chinese paladin, or with swords in The Return of the Condor Heroes. Around this time, Yifei also embarked on a career as a singer, releasing two albums in 2006, one in China and one in Japan. But it wasn't until 2008 when Yifei was introduced to an international audience when she starred alongside Jackie Chan and Jet Li in the action fantasy adventure The Forbidden Kingdom. She played Golden Sparrow, a blade and martial arts expert seeking revenge for the murder of her family. What? Other wuxia films followed, including The Four, in which Yifei played one of four X-Men-esque Secret Service members with supernatural abilities. As emotionless, she used telekinesis and mind-reading to solve crimes, and continued to do it in two subsequent sequels. And definitely worth mentioning is the 2014 film Outcast, in which Yifei is on the run from a revenge-fueled sibling, teaming up with former Crusaders played by Hayden Christensen and Nicolas Cage, who is especially cagey. At least he still sees hope in others, puts his sword at the service of that, rather than his own gain. Then in 2017, after a year-long casting process involving over 1,000 candidates across five continents, Yifei landed the lead role in Disney's live-action adaptation of Mulan. Yifei ticked off several qualities Disney was looking for. Number one, fluency in multiple languages. Hua Jun, Commander. Check. Number two, martial arts experience. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would say that she has that. And star quality. No problem there, either, considering she was named one of the four most bankable young actresses in China in 2009. So after conquering Chinese film and television, she is front and center in a live-action adaptation to one of Disney's most beloved animated films. That combined with a multitude of skills that will definitely come in handy in the future, this won't be the last we see of the legendary Yifei Liu.